Hello everyone and welcome back to the penultimate episode of the 12 days of Not My Horses. It's still overly worded, but this is the series where I'm going around to different amazing yards to ride some of their beautiful horses. Now, I've actually done an intro. Oh on... no! I Are ruined... you kidding me? I've You're not supposed to be shot. in it yet! I ruined the shot! <laughs> So today we're doing an event rider, guys, and it's uh, Simon Grieve, who constantly wants to be on camera. I had a whole bit about how I did swipe up kick on here. Oh, People course, were going to comment yeah. down below about who they thought the rider was. But then I kind of just ruined it. I Simon, Sorry. the event rider. <laughs> right, let's go and see the horses. Come on, are you going to... I can't believe it. No, you're not going to do it again? <laughs> Sorry, did, ruined that, everything. did that totally ruin that? That's completely ruined it. <laughs> I'd be lucky if anyone's still watching right now. <laughs> well, it's not my fault, you're stupid. <laughs> did you actually, did you need something that way? No. Were you I going just, somewhere? Going to you were just going to annoy me. What, what the okay, hell so you were doing? What the, what the hell this delay was? Anyway, good morning. Good nice morning. to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> right, anyway. Well, it's been cold this morning, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it nippy? By the way, thank you for uh, having an ATM start today. It's Pleasure. really sweet of you. Pleasure. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for that. you really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> What time did you leave to get here? Um, what time did about you? six. Six. Oh, that's not that bad, is it? I mean, it I was is building for, for an office. Oh, wow, gosh. Actually, no, I wasn't was there. Yourself. What time did I ring you? About half seven. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you filthy liar. <laughs> right, Simon. The yard. Here we are. Welcome so to beautiful. welcome to Field Farm. Thank you. Again. Um, yeah, again. I do love it here. Um, um, can we can we have an introduction to all these gorgeous faces? Uh, so yeah, so we've got um, this is kind of our block. I've got some of the stables down that side, and then over that side too. That's Rocky, who's saying saying hello. Hey, Rocky. And then this is Buster. Buster, <gasps> um, gonna get to know a little bit better because he's doing some jumping. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, nice. Oh. And then Vinny <laughs> wants to say hello. Vinny's on holiday. Hi, Vinny. Um, Vinny, um, he did Burley. I was gonna say, isn't Vinny one of your big boys? Yeah, he's a he's a dude. He's oh, a dude. You very, are... very special horse. Oh, he is so sweet, so gentle. He is very. Aww. He's um, he's a very sensitive chap, aren't you? Is he? He used to, he used to be really weird with men. Um, he's a bit better now, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a splash. Hope so. uh, oh, hey. Splash. Um, he's done. And there's Nala. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> She's so cute. She belongs to Joe who owns the yard. <laughs> oh my She's quite way. good at wasting time. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see that. I can see that. Enjoy this uh, <laughs> 10 minute segment of puppy cuddles. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, and then careful, and then that's Splash. Splash is um done badminton a couple of times, bird a couple of times. Oosh. And he he doesn't event now. He jumps he was, he did the Aventus Challenge last, last year at Hickstead and he jumps to kind of 140 level, which is really cool. Jeez. He's a ledge, aren't you, boy? Who did Cameron ride when he came for Swapping Hick He rode Bertie, but Bertie um, was sold oh. uh, a year ago. Oh, God. Sorry to bring that up. <laughs> no, I do. I really miss him. Yeah. He's, he's that must such be really nice hard because like, when they're not yours, it's But obviously... they look very similar. He looks yeah, well, that's very what similar I was just thinking. I was like, was but, it Splash? Um, but you, he looks similar, and then Buster looks similar, and then Jack also looks similar. Jack, who I, just, I need to ride in a minute. Oh, hi, Jack. Little cutie. <laughs> yeah, you love a bay gelding here, don't you? I know. They're so, they're so Sponsored similar. Sponsored by bay geldings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Splash has got his little bit of um, little Splash <laughs> on the side. Oh, nice, nice. Can you just give the lovely people watching a little overview of what, what you do? What, what I do? What do you do? Um, I kind of ride horses each day. Nice. Which is really cool. Really it's cool. quite a cool job. Best job, yeah, it's quite a cool job. <clears throat> um, and yeah, and I go eventing and I've been really lucky. I've done some really amazing things of eventing. I've done 18 five-star events now. 18. 18, yeah. Which is Do they get any easier? Amazing. Is it? Uh, not really. No, they're still incredibly nerve-wracking. It's, and it's yeah. all relative to the horse that you're riding. And you know, I've been lucky enough now to do lots of five stars on several different horses, which is really cool. Yeah, not many people can say that. Mm. Um, cool. So yeah, Babington, Burley, Poe, um, and. I do a bit of show jumping as well. Jump 140s with Splashy, um, and have with other horses in the past as well. Yeah, 
There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing I can't do. Nothing. <laughs> right, well, on that positive note. I'm pretty note, sure that's not true. Yeah. Well, let's go and see, shall we? <laughs> so we can take Buster out and do some eventer training. Yeah. Because you are our eventer. The eventer the of this series. The eventer. Woo -hoo. Right, well, let's tack up Buster and get going. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Let's see. Go, Buster. Um, his show name's Autograph. Oh, okay. So you can ask him for it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a ledge, aren't you, boy? Oh, he's nice. He's like, why am I up so early doing this? Not fair. Sorry about this. That's fine, just a bit of last minute tack cleaning. You just take your time, sorry. That's all right, it's not like you've known we're coming for about a month, so. <laughs> he's, um, he's a novice horse. He's quite an experienced novice horse now, so next year he'll hopefully make the step up to doing some intermediates. Really? And yeah. He's not that massive, is he? No, How he's not, he? but he's kind of... He looks like he's, my height, Simon. I feel like I should be on this one. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> he, he's definitely my kind of thing. I like little as well. Yeah. I do like little. Yeah. I, mean, I definitely think that I should have a little sit on jam at some point. I really want you to. Oh, that'd be cool. I think I should come back. Maybe yeah. maybe I should do an event on her. I would, honestly, <laughs> no, if you no, play jam novice no, for me, I would no, love you. No, I'm too no, scared can't to do that. You, you, no, you'll be fine. You, you'll be fine. 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 You would be fine. No, and, and the thing, like, I don't know, there's quite a lot of about doing it all yourself. There, Do you defi know what I mean? there definitely is, but equally, because neither of us have ever done it. It's a bit scary. It's like the unknown, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Anyway, I'll say you ride Buster, and if you're good enough, maybe take Jam Buster says, oh Buster my says, I've goodness never me. seen a bike. He says, there are poles and, bi and a bike in the way. <laughs> <clears throat> You'll be all right, mate. Don't worry. Chill. <laughs> Chill with the still. Do you want me to shut the gate for you? Um, I think. He'll do a poo almost instantly. Um, okay. But yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Please. There Good is chat. A, I'm not wishing to kind of um, demand stuff, but there is a poop scooper over there. <laughs> <laughs> Your wish is my command, Simon. I haven't had him very long. Um, and um, he moves really nicely. He's got a nice jump. Uh, and he's quite good fun. <laughs> he, won, he won an event at the end of last season. Do so. you know what I saw at Osby, if I'm not mistaken? Yes. I've done my research. How do you know that? I do actually stalk you quite a lot. <laughs> because you're <laughs> being weird. <laughs> so uh, you said you've not had him long. How does it work with like getting rides? How quickly oh, oh, are you expected to, just oh, be able goodness. to ride a horse? So I've um, had horses in loads of different ways. Um, when I was um, younger, um, I used to ride not so nice ones sometimes <laughs> and people would send them because they were a bit they'd stop or yeah um they're a bit wild i don't really want to do that anymore I'm quite <laughs> old now no I, I don't mind actually to be fair but um yeah like if they're a bit wild i, I get sent them and that normally that developed into something else like i yeah. had um a quite a tricky mare to ride and she used to nap a lot and she was quite difficult and i got her to novice and um and the owner was really pleased but and I, I kind of, not, I, was, I didn't know, but like, I didn't realise what her thoughts were, but she was like, actually, do you know what? I've got another horse. Yeah. Which um, is a bit better. Oh, so um, kind of like test the water and a actually, bit with you. Maybe, maybe you could ride that as well, because it mm. work, would work well for both of us. And I ended up taking that horse to Badminton, for, Badminton once, Burley four times and Poe four times. Jeez. So like, and th that was off the back of riding something that really wasn't that nice. Yeah. But, but like, um, People don't just ring you up. You do have to. <laughs> so your phone's not off. You can't, you can't just have your really nice yard and sit there and go, right. No one's I'm waiting. Me. You have to be out there doing and you have to, if you want to do it as a job, you have to get out there and ride the things that maybe aren't that easy and yeah. and, and be out there doing it. Um, and, like, and, and also the... being nice helps. I, I remember yeah. I went to um, an event and met these people. Well, I don't remember it, <laughs> but um, I then got a phone call Two years later, I think, and um, and it's this really nice lady, and she said, "Oh, um, we followed you for the last two years because we parked next to you at an event, and you were so friendly and said hello, and which people don't normally do." That's just do. really not like you. Which is not like me at all. <laughs> I was obviously in a really really weird place that day, um, and I and she said, and "You said hello to us, and you asked us how our day was going through the day, and you were just really nice." So we followed you ever since, and actually, my daughter decided she doesn't want to do it anymore, and we've got a really nice horse. Um, would you like to ride it? That's crazy. Which, which was, you know, and I was like, and just from just from saying hello to somebody, yeah, and, and just First and just being friendly, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll get that. Ta -da. I'll get that for you, sir. <laughs> um, so, like, just to get going, it's a really cold morning. Um, it's relatively early for old Buster, you know. <laughs> early so for you, you mean? It's <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a it's a question of just getting him warmed up 
and getting him used to this, uh, his environment as well. And I just really focus on trying to keep them as straight as possible, riding good turns, keeping his attention, riding a rhythm, and just making sure that he's, and trying to get him so that he stretches as much as possible. At the moment he's a little bit tense. <clears throat> um, but it's also, with him, he's got this lovely trot. He's, but yeah, you've got to make sure that. that it does, it's actually working from behind, you know, so you're activating that hind leg. So moving him forward and then bringing him back and then moving him forward again. He's got so Making much Making sure you're on the right spring. diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually is what happens then. Um, uh, and it's just because, you know, although he's beautiful, I mean, I think he's lovely. Like yeah. I trot around him at an event and I'm like, isn't he nice? Hi guys. <laughs> Um, very lucky to ride him, but you no, know, it feels so lovely. You could be forgiven for sitting there and allowing it to not be working, allowing him to not be working properly. So I've got to make sure that I'm constantly changing the gears, okay. and that's really good for jumping as well because you need that. Yeah. You need them to move off your leg when you know when you uh, when you ask. You know they need to. It needs to be really light touches. You know, in the end. Good boy, and then. Change of rain would be good, Simon. <laughs> he says, oh my good, the bed down jump's really scary. Oh it's no. That's what I was talking to you about. Anyway, so if we're, I'm losing my straightness because I'm not concentrating. <laughs> I do ride better though when I'm not concentrating, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have time to stress about it. Yeah, exactly. No getting nervous. So again, working those gears. And that's so, you know, we're gonna do some cross country fences today. And cross country is all about riding gears. You've got so many different gears. You've got your really, well, they call it the coffin canter, didn't they, back in the day? But oh yeah, you're not allowed to say that anymore. So, so you've got your first canter, which would be a really contained, energetic canter, which you'd use for tricky combinations or bounces or rail ditch rail fences. Yeah. And then you've got your slightly more open canter, which would be to a relatively straightforward fence, your galloping canter, or well, your gallop, which would be <laughs> steeple chase fences, and then your full on gallop. Uh, so, and again, it's all about getting them off your legs so that when you put your leg on, something happens. Yeah. And that comes back to your trot as well. So, like there, he was a little bit sluggish off my leg there, so I'll just straight away do it again. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, he says, now I've seen something in the corner. Boy. <laughs> Boy. And then that was a lot better off my leg then. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's having that self-discipline to do stuff again, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> We're quite good, at, like, a little bit like I am now. You should kind of end up just trotting and cantering around, not doing anything. You need to keep it active, keep them busy. Anyway, so we're doing some cross-country jumps, so I'll move him on a little bit. Again, like I say, I want him off my leg so that it actually, you know, he's really sensitive to my leg in a really positive way. And I'm really lucky that I've got this space here in this, this indoor's huge. Yeah. But you don't need an indoor school, you don't need a surface. You can work on your canter out on a verge at home or on a bridle way. And then we'll go across the school, we'll take Meg out. <laughs> Marvellous. And then should we do a little change? Yes! Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Have we come to see a dressage rider? Oh my God, isn't that good? <laughs> I bet Carl Heston wishes he could ride flying changes like that. <laughs> Carl, if you're watching. I can't imagine Carl's them. ever ridden this short in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because I've got such short legs. So when you're moving forward and back like there, I just drop the contact a little bit. And actually, that's not good. You want to maintain contact. Yeah. Regardless of what you're doing, even if you're going forward, you don't just throw the reins at them like that. <laughs> you want to have a connection all the time and that also really helps the connection helps with everything but especially with accuracy which is what we're working on today he says oh this is fun <laughs> and straight away like there my approach i know i had to avoid the first one but it was not that straight and because we're working on accuracy today that's something I really want to make sure that I'm particularly diligent about, and I'm taking care of his outside shoulder all the way. Yeah. On that turn, like there, slightly lost the left shoulder, right shoulder, sorry. Again, straight. In the middle. Again, slightly left to center, not being accurate enough, yeah? Accuracy, Simon. Straight. Straight. 
So that was better from an accuracy point of view, but when I landed, I drifted right as soon as I landed, which is bad. And also I was quite backward to it. Jeez, it's showing how like hard on yourself yeah, you are I think, in training. I think you have to be as yeah. well. So that was more forward, almost a bit too forward, then straight and then turn rather than just collapsing and allowing you to just drift around the turn. Yeah. Good boy. And then we'll have a little T-R-O-T. <laughs> He says, I'm such a good boy. You talking to yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm really not. So we're gonna come and jump my brush and we're gonna start off with a bit more of an energy filled collector canter. Oh, goodness, he says I'm off. And like there, hey. oh, good boy, nice jump. Very nice jump. Um, and so there uh, I had uh, energy filled cans, but not not going that fast but when yeah. you're not going that fast you need loads of power and energy and if they pop in an extra stride they get a bit closer that's all the better for a difficult combination yeah and then i'll just open the canter up a little bit body up but soft over his back all oh dick collapsed on landing shouldn't do that again <laughs> whoops didn't do a flying change not quite as good as last time good boy <laughs> so there he was good there but I wasn't, I, was, I collapsed in my body on landing. And even though it's not particularly big for him, it's really important for me to keep working on my position. So like here, so I was forward in my body, but now body up. No. Nice. Uh, good, that's better from me. Okay. Oh, good boy, well done. Whee! <laughs> and then this time we're just gonna go a little bit faster. Again, I've gotta think about keeping connection with him, not just throwing the reins at him and hope that I see a nice stride. Come on, Simon. Oh, 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 is oh, it there? oh, oh. There it is. Yay, <laughs> good boy. And it's good to practise these things, yeah? It's good to do this. It's good to like get yeah. out there. It doesn't have to be in a school. You know, if you can find a log somewhere or whatever. It's good, for, it's good practice to be able to see a stride. So can I see it? Oh, a little bit backward. Oh, Simon. I'm just gonna have to do that once more. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So okay, so what was about wrong with six that? strides out there, I was like, oh dear, Simon, you're a bit backward to that. Right. And I'm trotting when I should be galloping. <laughs> right, I'll try again. Gonna get time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so we're gonna keep coming. That's more like it. Whee! <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna have a little bit of a play with um, our skinnies. And I've got two set out here, because. So I've got my posh stuff, I've got my skinny brush uh, and some flags and all that kind of stuff, which is great. And it's all very well me saying, oh yeah, let's go and use that. And we will do in a minute, but well, I don't know about anybody else, but up until I moved here, I never had any of that stuff. Yeah. So you kind of have to make do. So we've also got my um, homemade one as oh, well. Oh, lovely. So we love to see it. Ride a good turn, make sure I've got his shoulder, which I don't have at all there. We're wobbling all over the place, but we are quite straight on the way through, straight on the getaway. And then the same over my poles down here. Again, I want to try and ride a really good turn. Make sure I've got his shoulders where I want them. Keep him straight. If he's not sure, just show. Whoopsie, he says, goodness me. <laughs> Gosh, that was skinny. It was skinny. <laughs> he says, oh my goodness. Who put that there? <laughs> so again, I'm just going to do those two again. Again, make sure I've got him round inside leg. Make sure I've got that outside shoulder. Make sure that he's straight. Contact level down both reins, channeling him down the rein. And again, I'm coming back to that contact that I was talking about earlier. You've got to feel like you're channeling your horse down the rein towards the bit, both legs into both hands. And same again. Good boy. Now let's try and be a bit straighter this time. He says, ooh, that's more like it. Good boy. <laughs> so his job obviously is to jump the fence, but it's my job to make sure he knows exactly where he's going, what he's doing. Okay, so, so I'm gonna ride the same. Good turn, dead straight, contact level. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so terrible. So good from him. But on the approach, I just let him drift a little bit. And then that happened also on the landing. He was very good. And <clears throat> Keep it small, it can be smaller yeah. than that even, to begin with, because they've got to learn that they go, and if there's an issue and they're not sure, you need to guide them and make sure that they go each time. Yeah. 
whatever happens. Even if he was to stop at this, I'd make him jump it because it's small enough to be able to do that. Straight. That's better from me. <laughs> and like I say, you don't need flags for this. You know, you, a couple of wings. That, that pole is a skanky old pole that snapped at my old yard and we bought it with us because it's my trusty <laughs> old bit of kit. Good turn. Contact. Straight. Straight, Simon. That's it. So that was quite good from me there, in a way. He went to drift onto his left shoulder and I just corrected him, so that's good. Yeah. Should we go a little bit bigger? You're feeling brave today. <laughs> I know, I know. What did you say the record was? 145? 145, so we're nearing it. Are we it. doing that now? Is yeah. that 145? Yeah, uh, I think that's 144, so you would need to go one more hole. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, Come on, okay, Simon. concentrating. Right, a good turn, make sure he's, I've got that shoulder, level rhythm, straightness, good boy. Ooh, good lad, and canter, good lad. Building up slowly to these things. And obviously this horse is relatively experienced. We could just take the ground rails away, please, Manda. This horse is quite experienced, so, but doesn't mean that doing this isn't good for him. Yeah. Repeat, horses thrive on routine and their rep repetition is, mm. Good repetition, obviously, yeah. is the best thing for them. Like, oh, but even bad repetition, repetition teaches them stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right, okay, that's looking a bit more scary now. So in terms of your winter training, what's your like schedule like with the horses? Uh, so it totally depends on the horse. Yeah. It also depends on, on the owner as well. Okay. what they want okay um so it's a discussion that i have with i don't own any of my horses yeah that would be silly <laughs> <laughs> no anyway, i don't i'm very very lucky i i have people that have horses with me and and we have proper discussions about what's going to happen with them okay. and i take on board what they say a lot yeah um because it, it, it's important and they need to make i need to make sure that they feel part of it as well yeah as much as i can anyway um, so, so it depends a lot on the horse, on the, what the owner wants, what the horse is, you know, like this horse, he kind of needs to work on his show jumping. So right. he's in jump, he's jumping fit, whereas the more experienced horses would be on holiday now. Okay. Um, or, or, or doing walk work, um, <laughs> having had a break. Okay, so I need more energy in that canter. Straight. Good boy. Oh, well done, Meg. Come on, quick. Oh God! <laughs> Is that, I'm going to keep going. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, you. Okay, can. and then again, good turn. Make sure I got that shoulder. Think about the getaway as well. Straight, straight. Good boy. More energy in the canter, but that doesn't mean speed necessarily. Again, like that energetic canter we had earlier is important. Whoops. Good boy. So there he, he kind of rubbed it. I didn't land in a very good balance and that's because of my approach was a bit, a little bit haphazard. Right. I kind of moved him when I shouldn't have done. I should have sat still and kept my leg there. Good turn, come on, good turn. Straight, good boy, well done. So that was a better approach for me and a better balance. Although he rubbed it, I'm still happy with that. Okay, right, so you've seen how the corner was. We've dismantled it. Again, this is for, for young horse training, and it's, it's good for this horse as well, it's good practice. We take the poles off, but I've left the pole in the middle there, and I've left the kind of jump wings set up as they would be, and I'm just gonna come round with this horse, I'm gonna do it, um, I'm gonna come round, and I'm gonna canter straight over it, try to not miss at the pole, which <laughs> is easier said than done, and all that. So a good corner, good turn, and ride that pole, Good boy. And in the middle, nice and straight. Brilliant. Okay. Sorry, Manda, but can we put up the, fr the front rail of it, please? God, what a nightmare to work with you are. Okay, so now I'm going to jump this rail as though it's a corner, but without the back rail. Just, ah, you know, just so okay. it's nice and, nice and easy and he gets an idea of what the angle is. Exactly the same line. I want to think about where that pole was on the floor. So a little bit of an angle to this. Good boy, and then straight on. Again, I'll just let him drift left slightly. So I'll just do it once more, sorry. Good corner, make sure I'm straight and straight on the getaway. Good boy, brilliant. Okay, let's pop in the back rail, Manda, please. So again, I wanna ride a good corner. Good boy, whoopsie. 
Good boy. Oh. So that was really good from him. And I came around that corner, I was waffling away, not really concentrating, was terribly backward around that corner. So I just want to do that again, and again, make sure I've got your shoulders where I want them, and keep him forward through the turn. It's also important to ride forward and make sure that I get my line right. Good boy. Ooh, energy through the turn, energy through the turn. Make sure you're straight, Simon. Oh. That's better. Yeah? Smart horse. See the difference there? Yeah, that was nice. Good boy. That's better. Oh dear. So there, I came around the corner, I was so busy trying to see my stride, I kind of lost focus of the actual canter itself, and then I lost his shoulder on the turn, so I drifted outwards. It's a bit subtle, but that's what yeah. that, it did happen. So I want to make sure I ride a better turn, stop talking and concentrate. Make sure I'm forward, make sure I'm straight, that's better. Good boy. But I collapsed on landing. <laughs> so I've got to do it again. Ah, good boy. You've just got to try and break it down a little bit in your, in your head and remember that, you know, horses, they're amazing creatures. And they, but they need to know what they're doing. Yeah. And, if, and it's like anybody, if you're being asked to do something in a rush, it's like, oh, I don't yeah. know. And they fluster. Uh, yeah, and if you do, and it's similar when they're really young, you have to really, and it's, well, I love it personally, but I know lots of people think it's really boring. Taking it real slow, you know, like walking over poles, trotting over poles, skinnies, whatever. Um, and I love taking the time so that they really get it ingrained. Yeah. And, and it's, for me, it's really important. I suppose what I'm wanting to show you these exercises is that I like them to get to the point where well, they're, they're fit, pretty fearless, yeah. and, they, and they know exactly what they're doing. And so often people end up, oh, I'm going to have a go at Skinny today. Oh, it jumped it. Oh, well, well done. That's a little bit of accident. Yeah. Um, you've got to break it down so that they're really confident, confident children. <laughs> eh? You know, like children no, that is so really true. Confident. Yeah, you don't need to be on a wing in a prayer, because yeah. then you get across country and it's... Yeah, and, and exactly. And when you get across... And it's a, it's a bit like um, the horse I was telling you about, you know, who did... Um, lots of burlies and went to um, Poe and stuff and Babington. He was a, a bit of a cob. Mm. He is a bit of a cob. He's very hairy and fluffy in the field now. Um, he's amazing. But he absolutely thought he was yeah. the, uh, the best horse out there. Like he, he, was, he was totally invincible because, because he'd never had anything go, go yeah. wrong. You know, he'd been really well educated. I mean, he was educated very well as a young horse by other riders as well, uh, you know, and then I took him over and, but it, it was real gradual progression. Yeah. And so he would have jumped off a cliff for me. I, I, I know he would have done. He, yeah. he would only have done it once. But <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was why, that's why it's so important that you look after them at this stage, you know, the, 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 right at the beginning. What yeah, all the way through. 100%. So it's, so it's just in small increments. Yeah, definitely. So talking about our energetic, bouncy, strong canter, that's what it's important for with a bounce, but we're going to strip it back again, like we have done with the other things. Yep. So we're just going to put the top rails on the floor with those three as well. With those, so they're three, three yeah, together. all clumped together. See, cross-country bounces oh. really scare me for some reason. Yeah, and and you, and I totally get that. You yeah, because it is. And, well, it scares everybody, I'm sure. But you've got to make sure, like going back to what we've said, you've got to make sure that your training is absolutely in place. You feel yeah. like you've dotted your eyes, crossed your T's, and you're totally prepared. So you practice them at home. Yeah, and um, and they're really well built now. These bounces. At events, you know, very often they'll build them in different different colours. They're normally quite inviting, you know, big chunky logs or brushes, so that they're quite forgiving. Right. Um, and you've just got to think of it as just as just a jumping exercise, like you would do at home. Yeah. Uh, but making sure you're not going too fast. Again, it's going back to what I was saying about giving them the time to work it out. So you need that energetic, powerful canter, but it's not very fast, so they can weigh it up and think about what they're doing. It's hoof eye coordination. Oh, nice. Ooh, um, pattern that. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> uh, same, good turn, make sure I'm straight. Oh, oh my Oh, bless you, good boy. What was that, Dad? He says, oh my goodness. Right, okay, so that was really good. I was really good from him, so I don't want to do it again. Okay. Uh, slightly, um, not that straight from me, you'll see on the video. Yeah, uh, but we'll replay that. But good for you, but good from good from him there, yeah. So let's put in the second part. Make sure it's a good turn. Oh, he says, oh dear, that wasn't very straight, was it? I tell you, honestly, he's standing in just the wrong place because it's showing me up. 
<laughs> okay, let's pop in the first part there. Okay. Oh, Simon, honestly, what kind of a turn was that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, the turn was terrible, wasn't it? I just drifted around that corner. I mean, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, my Yeah, drifted around like I was on an afternoon hack. Come on, Simon. Get Come on, Simon. Right, so, energy encounter. Ride a better turn, ride a better corner. And straight. straight. Oh, good boy. There we, there we go. That's better. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah? And when you're jumping these bounces, you've got to be aware of your body. Now, I was probably a little bit, a little bit, maybe a bit too forward in my body, maybe. Right. You want to keep your body away so that, you know, it's such a, such an effort for a horse doing this. There are only little of these, but it's still a big effort. Yeah. You know, they've got to land and take back off again before their hind leg has even hit the ground. So, so you've got to make sure that you give them every opportunity to use themselves. Yeah. And so that's, you know, obviously making sure that they're straight, making sure they've got freedom in their head and neck, but also keeping your body away so they can bring those shoulders up. Yeah. And, and use themselves in the best way possible. So sitting soft and light with your body a little bit forward, but but up is the best thing, so you're in a good balance yeah. to help them. Again, I feel like I'm slightly waffling, but it's 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 a, for me, it's about making it so it's easy for them. So the, the fundamentals of what I'm trying to say today is keep it really basic until you're super confident at that level so mm -hmm. that they're really, really happy. And you're making, and the second thing is that you're making their life as easy as possible to learn in a really positive way good way so they come away with us thinking yeah i'm so good at that I'm pretty cool oh my yeah, god yeah that's what you want them to be thinking yeah um, no definitely and um and, and yourself as well it's important you think do you know what i actually did a really good do you feel there. cool right now well there were a few not so great bits weren't there but they were, it fundamentally it wasn't too bad i think you're pretty cool <laughs> Um, he's a good boy, aren't you, mate? You're a very good boy. He's very handsome, isn't he? He's very handsome. He's very handsome. He's yeah. too clever. He is for sale. <gasps> oh, no. Kind of. Yeah, I know. I quite like to keep him, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, don't sit on this channel. People buy him. <laughs> yeah. He's for sale for £600,000. £6 million. £6 <laughs> million. <pounds. laughs> he's good, a good boy. boy. Cool. Marvellous. Right, shall we... Um, I'll go and get the mirror. <gasps> the mirror. The mirror. It's my turn. Here she comes. Simon, the one thing I said to you was that I really struggle to ride big horses with a big stride. Yes. And what have you done? I know, I'm sorry. You bought me your biggest I'm horse. Sorry. I know, but. She's so lovely, she's so lovely, she's so lovely, well, she's so lovely. She's so lovely, she's so lovely, she's so lovely. A stunner, a wonder. Was she the step when she was ten years younger? Come see me discreetly. She said she's got a trick or two to teach me. It's very kind of you to um, write her first for me. Some well, people I, haven't been so generous. Well, on no, this I just series. like I just I, I know I, I know what it's like when you're riding something that you don't know and you're expected to go and do things like jump skinnies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see. But like you know, do things like walk and trot. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is Bally. Bally has done, uh, she's six and she's done a fair few events now. She's done 90s and 100s. She's won, she's won a couple, I think. Nice. Go, Bally. Uh, oh, no, she's, um, and she is just, she's just lovely. She's such a nice person, you know, um, she, and she always does stuff because you ask in a really polite way. Oh. Or if she, if she doesn't want to do something, she goes, do you mind awfully if we don't? And I'm like, <laughs> well, it'd be really lovely if you did. And she'd go, oh, OK. OK, then. <laughs> she's, she's that kind of person, you know? Her owners, they bred her. She's out of a, a mare that did advance, an Appaloosa that did advance, that they wow. owned. So it's like, so it's, and to be honest, they're not fussed about how much she does or, or how little she does. Like, they just want to see her have a lovely time. Yeah. They're, they're like the most lovely owners as well. They kind of, they're the sorts of people. Remember the first event I did with her and um, they couldn't come and Simon rang me, well I rang Simon to, to kind of tell him how it had gone. And he said, did she have a, basically before I said anything, he said, did, I, did she have a really nice time? Oh. Do you think? And I was like, yeah, I think she really enjoyed herself. Yeah. And he's like, and. And did you have a really nice time oh. too? And I was like, 
I had a lovely time, Simon, thank you. Because it's very, very rare that people ever ask me that. Yeah. I was like, I had a lovely time, thank you. He's like, oh, I don't really need to know anymore then. Oh and that my is just oh, gosh. such a nice attitude. How wholesome. And this is probably really uneducated of me, but is an Appaloosa a breed and a colour? Like, uh, what's her breeding? Yeah, yeah, basically. I don't so, really understand I, it. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure of her exact breeding. Um, I think she's for Appaloosa. Yeah, Appaloosa is a breed, isn't it? Yeah, it? that is right. You might yeah. need to Google that. Someone comment down below. On like, The viewers will know more. <laughs> Righty-ho, before we go and see how I got on with the lovely Bally, we do need to talk about the giveaway. All of these videos have a giveaway with them, Simon. How wonderful oh, is that? And we've got the best giveaway. We have we? got the best giveaway because today I've teamed up with the amazing Waifood who helped me no end with my riding. Now, what you're holding there, you've never had... Did you have these at Swipe Up? No, before? no. Right, we I've didn't treat you. I've never had one. We're I've a bit greedy. One. We don't share that often. So, these essentially I have every single eventing morning they're a meal in a bottle so if you're a bit naughty and like to skip a meal before you go eventing mm -hmm. you know eight o'clock dressage maybe yeah. you're not having breakfast yeah sip one of these on the way in the lorry and it will fill you up but they're also really nutritionally packed with all of the good stuff they've got 26 vitamins and minerals all in those bottles and they come in loads of different flavors they've got vegan they've got powder they've got bars Amazing. Amazing. That's really cool. Do you want to try one on camera? Because I've bought you some. Okay, Brandon I would like... has got more than just these three. Uh, it's, yeah, happy these banana. These three flavours you've got. I, thought, I think I'm going to go for the fresh berry. The fresh berry. It's okay. Right, give her a shake. I'm going to give her a little shake. The other good there. thing is that they've got a really... <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> he's, he's stolen them. They've got a really long sell-by date, so you can just keep them in your lorry. And they don't need Amazing. to be in the fridge. And what are they like if you're feeling really nervous? They're good. They're really good. Like, that's the only thing I can consume. So at badminton, I don't know if you've ever competed there or not. Mm. If you, you heard of it. It's like quite a big, prestigious event. Um, what, is it in Scotland? <laughs> Might just be, actually. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, eat I mean, anything I, the yeah, whole time. Like, and I'm I was exactly just, the same. Whenever sip, I've sip, done badminton, sip. it's yeah. definitely, it's not an eating morning, honestly. It's, it morning. really isn't. But I had a whole one of those before I tackled that 90 course. <laughs> Ready to drink, complete mi meal. So it's like a milkshake. Yeah, it's a bit, the lassie ones are a bit thicker, more yogurty. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That, that's really nice. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so surprised. <laughs> no, but people, Actually, it's really people nice. are like skeptical about them. And also, I'm not a milkshake person, so I tend to go for the lassie ones because they're almost yogurty. They're a bit thicker. And this I this really actually like them. tastes like it should be quite fattening. You know, like, yeah. you know you well, that's those the thing. really thick milkshakes, yeah. which actually are not that good for you, are No, they? no, that's the thing. So this is very good for you and it's so much better than missing a meal. So they're not, we're not trying to be like, oh, you should just drink these the whole time. It's if you're that person that has a chocolate bar or doesn't eat anything throughout the whole day, you need to be pumping yourself full of goodness. So yeah. you need to try and sip these. I mean, Pete absolutely downs them. So that's another option. Yeah, neck it. Neck it. Neck right, it. well, while you sit and enjoy that, I, I will I tell <laughs> lovely people what they can win with Y Food. So, up for grabs, we have two six packs of drinks. They can pick them in any flavour they like. Also, two packs. Fresh berries, good. <laughs> two packs of their powdered drinks and one pack of bars. This giveaway is UK only. I can't stop looking at you just. Glugging. It's great. <laughs> um, so head over to my Instagram to enter and a big, big thank you to Y Food for kindly giving this prize and also giving Simon lots of drinks to keep him forward. Great. We'll have to keep you stocked up next event season. Yeah, I, I mean, to be fair, this would be, I, in all seriousness, this would be perfect for me. Yeah. Eventing. Do you know what? I'm going to talk to people at Y Food and see what we can do for you because I reckon. That would yeah, be great. But where can you get these? Like, are they. Do you have to order them? Or, so or you can order them online and they are, in, are they starting to come into supermarkets now. Yeah, which is very exciting. Amazing. Um, but if you're going for like a bulk order, woo, yeah, order them online. Get them sent to your door. They'll last for ages. They'll last for months. Off you go. Bally says, excuse me. Bally says, I want some, son. Right. Shall we go and have a little look at how I get on riding Bally? Can you, can you Sorry, say no. how it was? Sorry. Give people a little clue before they watch it. One word to describe that session. Epic. Oh, wow, that's generous. Yeah, it was, it was all right. <laughs> no, Epic. it was very good. Slash. It was very good. All right. <laughs> right, let's go. Okay, so length of stirrup. You ride so short. Uh, are you feeling like you're really short? I'm feeling like I'm really short. Yeah, I ride really short. I've got really short Ooh. legs. Oh, sweetie. Do you want me to do your stirrups for you? Yes, please. 
So how many are we going down? Look how darling? short you ride. No. Two. I'm embarrassing, aren't I? God. I mean, you're just a proper inventor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's wild. Where did I put my telephone? Oh, Simon, she already feels huge. Well, she's not small, so you need to kind of forget that. Oh, thanks. You just need to get on with it. Brilliant. <laughs> Come for no. lessons with so, Simon, guys. So. <laughs> So no, you just need to just relax, yeah? yeah. And just yeah. not think about size, just think about getting to know her, yeah. finding out the different buttons, what to press. Good girl. One thing I really struggled with with Dan when I rode his horse yeah. is that I feel like I'm going slowly because they like they move slower yeah. than ponies, don't they? Yes. So then I kept chasing the horse. Yeah. And with her you just don't need to. Right. You can just allow it to happen underneath you. Okay. And going back to what I was saying earlier about connection. So that's connection between hand and leg. Yeah. If you keep that with her, just keep on just bobbing around in a nice rhythm. She should just jump what's in the way. Okay. I'm quite scared. Don't be scared. Don't, Don't be, scared. be scared. She's really sweet. She's okay. really sweet. Good girl. Worst thing she do is have a little spook. Okay. He says, that's totally famous last words, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, see, that's why I hate selling horses, you know. Oh, it's Cause, horrible. Because it's like, oh, if something goes wrong. You're like, oh my God, it's never done that before. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but actually, it really has never done you're that like, before. You're like, I promise it has never done that before. Right, so let's not think about it too much. Let's pop up into trot. Okay. She's got quite a big trot. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to find it. That's it, well done. Oh wow, she's ever so smooth. She's really smooth. Oh my gosh, she's lovely. Yeah, she's really cool. She's so soft and light in your hand. Yeah. God, it probably looks like I can ride right now. <laughs> uh, I won't go that far. No, you look, very, you look very good. You look very good. Okay, so the other thing that I have no idea about when I'm riding a horse is like where to have them. Like where they're. I don't know what should be in front of me, like where their head should be, if that makes sense. Well, it's all, like I, it's all very similar to what you would normally do. But when I, so when I watch this footage back, I feel like I've got a lot of the horses too up in their frame. Yeah. But I think it's just because I'm so not used to having this much neck. Yeah, I, I think you need, what you need to focus on more than anything is not thinking about that so much. Think about like your basics. Yeah. And like, you know, uh, making sure that you've got good rhythm, making sure that you're forward, that you're positive and that you're riding into a contact. Yeah. And she is, she is light, but you need to make sure that she does have a contact. Yeah. Okay. Just come round and just, as you're working, just trot through uh, my jump wings over those, over those two poles. Don't think of the, just think of the rhythm of the trot, yeah? And, and think of the rhythm of it, yeah? Good girl. Oh my god. So you've done your first jump. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, Simon, we've got canter. Yeah, we'll just keep riding the canter then. Just nice and softly, sitting nice and soft. Uh, um, and like keep that weight in your in your in your um, syrup, yeah. Okay. So that you can be really soft and and um, absorb the impact through your hips. And in that canter, why don't you have a little canter in between my two flags here? Okay. That's really nice there. Well done. Good. Oh. So there. Don't try and think about your. The, let's do that once more. Yeah. Think about your floor plan a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So with them being bigger, you need to be even more aware of your half halts and making sure right. that she knows exactly where she's going. So ride a better turn if you can. She's, she's, that's it. Balance on the turn and then rid them. Rid them. Good girl. Well done. And then keep cantering and then go over your, your poles through those uh, two um, white wings as well. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Good girl, well done, that's all right. Just Sorry. bring her back to trot, outside Ooh. rain. And then pick up canter again and then we'll do that once more. Good, sweetheart. And always looking for your turn, looking where you're going next, yeah? And She's quite easy to lose her shoulder, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where you need to make sure you've got that block on the outside with the outside leg and the outside rein to make sure that doesn't happen. Don't pull with that inside rein to bring her around too much. Better. Oh God, we did Lovely flying change. Lovely change too. Apologies. Magical. <laughs> Let's do the same on the left rein. So through 
your um, flags at that end and then over your um, yeah. skinny poles at this end. Fanny's having a lovely time. She's got a smile on her face. <laughs> Good. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Good girl, well done. And again, when you come into these poles on the floor, I don't want you to think of them as, I just want you to work on the quality of canter and making sure you've got the shoulders where you want them. Rhythm again, rhythm again. Good girl, super, and another lovely flying chain. And I but then we lost, we lost that straightness, didn't we? I really did. <laughs> So let's just do that once more and get that straightness again. That was really good though, yeah? <laughs> I mean, the flying approach. changes are beautiful. Now sit up, balance. Outside rain controls the pace, but it also controls that shoulder and the leg as well. Good. Straight. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Ooh. Very good. She's absolutely lovely. She's, uh, she's beautiful. She's really she's, and lovely. She's, um, I didn't start her right from the, from the beginning. No, she, I can tell. She was, <laughs> <laughs> she was started by um, a lady called Ginny Turnbull. Uh, oh, yeah. Who, who's done, who does a lot of breaking in of young horses. Yeah. And, and she's, really, she's lovely. Um, and she's done really, she did a super job on her. Yeah, because she, she almost doesn't feel as big as the 16.3 I rode. No, no. It's weird. Yeah, she's, she's, and so riding big horses is fine. It's when they're like this and they are polite. It's when they get strong. That's when it starts that getting a little terrifying. bit more difficult. Good girl. I can't believe she's six. She's so nicely schooled for I a six year old. I think she's. She, I suppose I rising seven. Yeah, of course. So she, yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's Still. right. So. Maybe Uncle Simon needs to have Winnie for a year. <laughs> sort her out for me. You look good on her. You, you don't look small. Yeah, that's... You, look, you, know, you look a good fit. That's one of the weird things I found doing this series. It's like, I thought I was going to look really tiny on these horses. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not a tiny person. <laughs> I just, just like ponies. Yeah, but I love ponies too. Yeah. I love... I, if you could go five star on a pony, you'd still be riding Connemara. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, um, I've ridden really small horses at five star. You know, really? Spl Splash is only 15.3. Freddy's uh, 15... Probably and do you feel two? at any, like, disadvantage doing that? Or... Uh, well, not really. If they've got the, the will and the yeah. desire to do it. Ah, no. There we go. Yes. See? And actually... And actually Big horse doesn't mean better horse. Big, de big definitely doesn't always mean better. <laughs> right, should we have a little canter and pop over my cross pole? Yep, okay, which rein am I going towards? If you come off the right rein, um, down towards the open side. Okay, can I canter over my pole again just to try and get of my eye course. in? Thank you, you're really sweet, you are. Um, you rein length? Yep. What are we talking? About there? Um, what have you been doing? Oh yeah, okay, sweet. Yeah, just and again, like just see how see how it goes, yeah? Okay. As long as she's got freedom to be able to use herself. Okay. Whoopsie. Don't worry too much about where her head is, just focus on the rhythm and making sure that she what you you've got her. That's it. Outside rain. So again there, just slightly. You uh, you came you pulled her around with your inside yeah, hand. I really yeah, really felt that. Make as well. sure you ride her around the corner. So that includes using your outside aids as well. Okay. So focus here on getting onto that line as early as you can, and then staying straight and rhythmical all the way. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Very good. Super. Oh, Whee! Simon. What? Why did we get so excited on landing? Because she likes it. <laughs> I've done. I've said this before to you, but um, there's an infrared line uh -huh. that comes from outside the school through that wall into the school, straight in a straight line down through the middle of this cross pole, and then out, probably through that strut, out the school and out that side. I went to the left then, didn't I? And you I? want to try and get onto that as soon as you can. Yeah. And then stay on that, land on it, take off off it, land on it, move away on it, and then turn. Right. There yeah. you kind of landed and just drifted. I was just so left. pleased to, to have fair. not crashed through the fence, to be honest. <laughs> but to be fair, she was a little bit fresh and a bit jolly. Yeah. Cool girl, darling. 
She's I know, I'm session. really good. I'm she really good. She is really good. Should we jump it the other way? Okay. I'll make it into a little upright though, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, but only a little. Simon, that was an absolute fluke that I got there on a stride. I hope you know that. Uh, well, it's not. It's down to her being well trained. Yeah. <laughs> God, I almost she is, give she, me a she is, then. So, she, so she is well trained in that if you input that canter and just keep in that same rhythm, she'll jump whatever you get, whatever you come on. Okay, so uh, let's do it the same way. Okay. And think, ima think of that imaginary line. Get onto yeah. it as soon as you can. You're doing a very good job, my darling. Thank you, Simon. I needed that. <laughs> She's got the scope, so you can just relax and allow her to just take you to the fence in a nice rhythm. That's a good one. Well done. Rhythm. 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 Super. Good girl, and a really good correction from you there, yeah? <laughs> and the, the freshness as well, yeah? Simon, it's... why has she gotten fresh with me? So, so... Partly because on those last couple of strides, you're slightly moving her. Just Am I? Slight, like just really? a minimal amount. Okay. Yeah. And that is enough to, to make, her really, her. make her, well not excited, just to make her go, oh, okay, we've got to go somewhere. God, okay, I don't even notice I'm doing that. You, you, but you, you, to be honest with you, you wouldn't really notice. I'm, right. I'm being really picky here. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and I know what she's like. Yeah. If you slightly move, She's going to be a bit more like a bit more jolly on landing. Oh gosh, okay, yeah. okay. And so that's why it's so important to keep riding that nice level rhythm. And even though on those last couple of strides, and we're all guilty of it. You're like, go on then. You know. So and I know you're not doing that as yeah. much as that, but you, you're. Without the moving, would I still met it on a good stride then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it was lo lovely and level down here, and you know, perfect. Okay. Really good. Good girl, darling. She says, I knew I'm such a good girl. Outside rain controls the pace, remember. There's no rush. Take your time. Focus on the line and on the turn. Good girl. Super. Oh. Just, again, drifted left I on really landing. Have yeah? one eye. I noticed that. Level down both reins. Rhythm. Keep trotting, keep trotting, keep trotting. Good. Well Good. done. Good girl. Ooh. So although you've got that relaxed, soft canter, you still need to have the leg quietly there. Yeah. Simon, she's getting fresh. <laughs> You're okay, don't worry. Relax. Canter, that's it. Rhythm, 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 rhythm. Good girl, well done. And a nice correction with the straightness there, well done. Give her a break for a second. Good so the, the freshness thing is it, is, it is about sitting still and being soft and relaxed, yeah? yeah? Try not to be too tense. Yeah, well, I they, get very she, tight. She, she picks up on that. Yeah. yeah? Well, they, they, all horses obviously pick up on tension. Let's try and relax. So just chill, relax. Just chill. Imagine yourself on a white sandy beach. Mm. <laughs> or a sandy indoor school. Yeah, exactly, same, same. Okay, She's right. a babe. She's a babe with the power. <laughs> Okay, oh, I am what film's relaxed. that from? What film's that from? I don't know. She's the babe, the babe with the power. Oh, what the one that's like power of the babe? It's labyrinth. Isn't that's it? it. Hey. Outside rain. Keep the canter. That's it. Good girl. Good. Well done. I tried so, so was, hard to relax then. So it was nice there because you made a little bit of a little bit of an adjustment on the approach, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, and that was perfect. That was really good. Am I coming again or no? Uh, no, let's keep cantering okay. and just come over my little bounce here, but I'll put the poles on the floor to start with like we did Thank earlier. You. I think I get quite tense in my legs. Yeah, you tension they pick up on so easily. Sorry. I am. Um, That's right. I didn't want to run you over. That's okay. I really appreciate that. Do you know what? I really like you, so I thought, not today. <laughs> Again, take your time, relax. That's a good energy. Rhythm. Rhythm. Whee! <laughs> Thanks, Simon. <laughs> Sit up. Sit up. Shut up. Well done. Happy Am I coming to again put, like that? Shall I, yeah, I'll put it in the second part, yeah? Oh gosh, okay. Is that yeah, okay? That one went so swimmingly well. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. 
It's Whee! horsey. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Just remember, straightness, yeah? Rhythm. Oh, well done, Meg. Good Sorry. girl. Now that was good, yeah? Isn't she clever? <laughs> but because you're allowing her to be, yeah? Rhythm, outside rain, straightness. Good girl, well done. Ooh, lo uh, I lost my straightness on the end, other end. Let's come and jump it off the left rein. Okay. The approach there was so much better, wasn't it? So much better, and then I lost it after. You, you rode the outside of her, and because uh, the, right at the beginning, you were kind of pulling her around with the inside rein. And rain I've quite really a lot. got like a stronger hand, and I think I'm so guilty of doing that. Like when I rode the dressage horse, my instructor was like, look, stop deserting like your outside, like my leg and my rein. Yeah. Because I was just really using my like, inside hand, inside leg. Yeah. And it's so much more noticeable on a big horse because oh, they do yeah. just, they've got more to fall out, haven't they? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's, you know, it's all down to balance, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's come and jump it off the left rein. Oh, okay, cool, thank you. Rhythm, rhythm, good. Body up, super, well done. <laughs> How did that feel? Lovely, actually. Yeah, I good. could really feel her moving. Like, I felt her, like, the, the hoof eye coordination. Am I coming again? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Remember, take your time, keep the leg there. Good girl. I 100% see what you mean about keeping my body up. I've yeah, had good. to stop myself from going more forward than I wanted to then, and I feel like I was already too forward. Yeah, and that's where you've got it. Yeah, it's important so that she can use herself in a really good way. Yeah, yeah. and sit Your like, body weight makes such a difference to yeah. you. Good girl, Bally Duck. I love her. Do you want to do the corner? Oh, I'm a bit nervous about the corner. Can we do it like yeah, the baby absolutely. way, like how you introduce it? I really like this way of working through. Like, I'm so guilty. When I do a corner at home, I just put the corner up and that's that. I go um, over it. Uh, I mean, it it's going back to what I keep on saying, it depends on the horse, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I just think it's a good way of edu educating them in a really positive, easy, quite fun way. Yeah. You want them to enjoy it. That is the whole point. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, well done. That's all right. So you're getting the hang of that canter a bit more, aren't you? Yes. Not to blow my own trumpet. Right, okay. So I want you to think about exactly the same line this time. Okay. So you've got a little bit of angle on that front rail. So I'm pretending that I'm still jumping my nice pole in the middle, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Look for that line, keep the same rhythm. Good girl, well done. I can't believe how adjustable she is. She is. I felt like I saw a pony stride there and I was like, uh-oh, yeah, you're going you, wrong you've here. You've got to be careful that you don't shut it down too right. much. Like there on the approach, you're like, oh, I'm going to take another one, oh, I'm going to take another one. And then it's fine because these aren't big. But if you're yeah. starting to jump bigger fences, she needs that energy. See, that's power. what I'm so guilty of. That is like my absolute go-to is just, just add it's one, just more, wait, one more, oh, one wait more, for one another. more. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're 100% right. Yeah, but so who's, who's not guilty about, of doing that? I bet Catherine does that. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. I'm so envious of those people that come off a corner really forward and then they just still keep pushing forward from the corner. It's like, how? Yeah, but most people can't do that. <laughs> Outside rain controls the pace. That's it. And the oh, shoulder. Oh, Simon, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, God. As soon as I get nervous, I just self-sabotage. Relax, take a breath, ride the rhythm. Okay, no, sorry, don't worry. So take a breath, turn right, so you're not, ri sorry, so you're yes. not riding her past it, yeah? She, when you went past Catherine, she did a little jolly, and I think that slightly knocked, knocked you, yeah? Okay. So just take a breath, relax, fill your lungs a little sorry, bit, man. yeah? That's yeah. it, and again. And then pick up canter softly. Relax. Take your time. Rhythm. 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 
rhythm. Good girl. Well done. Good. Whee! <laughs> Bally says, that was fun. Bally says, finally, you let me go to it, you silly woman. Give her a big pat. So I'm really sorry about stopping her. I, I, like, no, 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 that's I've fine. I've gotten into this horrible thing and it's gotten so much worse since Bicton where I come around the corner, I can't see it and I, I just can't stop pulling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I just give up and I'm just like... So I am... Um... Um, should we do it off the right rein? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you a story in a, in a minute. Um, we'll do it off the right rein, if, if you want to, unless you want to leave yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, I do want to because it's like, I need to push past this because I'm going to get to next season and I'm going to really struggle. You need, you need to just calm down. Yeah, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to just relax. Remember that you see a very good stride. You ride in a nice balance. You can ride a very good rhythm too. You just need to remind yourself of that. Yeah. Yeah? Right. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you give yourself enough time. Okay. And that you're soft and you're riding that nice level rhythm. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Right. Fill your lungs. Take a breath. Let it out. Outside rein controls the pace and the shoulder with the outside leg. Rhythm. 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 Good girl. Well done. Once more. Good horse. So Very there, good no, horse. no, you you had her in a good balance and in a good rhythm. The distance didn't quite come as you wanted, but you gave her all the um, the ammunition to be able to do the job. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. Ride a good turn. Make sure it's a good line. Good girl. Well done. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. Do you want to come once more? Yes, please. So again, as you're coming through this turn, try and sit still. Keep your hand low and soft. Don't go to your hand. Keep the canter. That's it. Ooh. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Good girl. Well done. That took every piece of might to not pull her then. Yeah, well so done. Not pull That's her good. Out, I mean. Am I coming once more? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. Remember to ride a good turn though, Meg, yeah? yeah? I lost her there, didn't I? That's why. Keep the same level rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Good girl, brilliant. Well done. Sorry about the landing, I completely lost it then. The, yeah, but the approach was very good, yeah? <laughs> yeah. The approach was a lot better, you left her alone. I think that's a good one to finish on. Oh. Yep. Whew. If you're happy. No, I'm really happy with that. And Thank you. I feel like I was, I don't know, it's just, I, I do fine in a session and then as soon as I have that moment of like, oh God, I can't see a stride, yeah. it's like, it's, I'm finding it even worse than I did before since Bicton, yeah. which is silly because like, those things happen, didn't they? And I've got to get over it, but. Uh, yeah, but and things affect people in different ways, don't they? Yeah. I, mean, I had, um, uh, I had a, a fall, it's a very long, long winded boring story, I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> I had a fall uh, a few years ago and um, and it's, I seemed okay, it was quite a bad fall but I was, I was kind Is of okay. Is this the one you sent me the picture of that awful? No, different one. Oh, okay. And, but this, this time, it was, it was before that and this time I, um, she, it, was, it wasn't very nice but um, and I, I pulled a muscle here. Yeah. And over several weeks it developed into a DVT. So deep, deep, vein, deep vein thrombosis, Ooh. Um, which is really bad. Sounds, yeah, uh, doesn't and sound it, great. And it developed and developed, and I, I was like the elephant man, and, um, and it was misdiagnosed several times. So like, and, but eventually they're like, oh my God, this is really bad. You need to stop riding and whatever. So, um, and they couldn't get it right. So I was on these drugs, so I couldn't ride for three months, Jeez. which was a bit devastating. Yeah. Um, Do you want me to keep her walking? She's yeah, still yeah, yeah, that's it, um, if you can. And um, so I was off for three months, um, but I really wanted to do Burley with a horse. Um, and <laughs> I was... Um, uh, I can imagine that being the last thing I'd really I was allowed to ride again, I think it was three weeks before Burley or something like that. Jeez. And, uh, and I was like, right, okay, so anyway, so went to Summerford, which was the last run for the horse before, like, two days after I'd come off these drugs, I went, went and rode at this event. And because um, I was really lucky, the, the team were really good at keeping the horse going yeah. and stuff. And I... Jump fence two, came round the corner, the horse slipped and turned, <gasps> fell over oh. and knocked me out. <gasps> so then I was banned for two weeks. 
Oh, because you'd had... 21 days. 21 days I was Right, back. yeah, because you had went, yeah. Uh, so that, that ran on to the Sunday of Burley. So I was like, oh, I can't ride a Burley now. <laughs> but then I realised that actually you can get signed back on if you have a specialist sign you back on after... I can't remember how long it is. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I don't know whether the rules are the same now, but... Um, and uh, so then I was allowed to ride our event the Monday of Burley. So I went to... I did... There was an open intermediate at Kiso on the Monday, so I went and cantered around that. And then I went to Burley, having not been cross country properly for like, well, three months. <laughs> and um, honestly, it was terrible. I was checking and checking and checking, nightmare. And in the warm up, I kept on circling away because I couldn't see a stride. Yeah. But I got to about, I got to the, um, there's a trachana just after the trout hatchery, which is about, I don't know, a quarter of the way around. Yeah. And once I got there, I was like, oh, I think I'm okay now. <laughs> It's but kind of, that, yeah. But by like, that point, sorry, my, the reason I'm telling you is like, by that point, I'd already had a, I'd had a run out, but it was because there was a ditch and then you did a curving four strides, I think it was, to a shoulder brush. And I jumped the ditch and I turned and I was like, oh, there's another one. Oh, and then there's another one. Oh, and then there's another one. Oh, and there's <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, and I think there was, I think it was four strides and I think I ended up putting like seven strides in and the horse was like, I'm really sorry, Simon, but I, I can't do that. <laughs> I was I'm like, I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. It's good so job much you've got a brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so clever. It's you, so hard. But I'm glad it's like that you feel that at the top of the sport as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, but, like, it is human, isn't it? And absolutely. And everyone feels nerves as well. I mean, that was particularly bad. Yeah. That was quite a. I mean, I don't can't quite believe it did actually. No, but, but it's um, crazy. It was, yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry, it's a very long, boring story. But. Um, but yeah, like you see at those events, you see the Pippa Funnels and Tina Cooks, although she's not, she's retired now, and all these really amazing riders, and they're all nervous. Yeah, it affects everybody. Yeah, no, definitely. I think actually filming this series, although it's been difficult for me, it's come at a really good time because I've been <laughs> in the presence of greatness, like people like yourselves. And um, well, I know, I know. <laughs> maybe less so you. But it's been good to like actually ride with a professional on the ground and on a like a horse away from jam, just to kind of go over the it's basics really a bit good. more and like I mean, reiterate it's really it good all. for like you know. I always think so. When I was <laughs> younger, um, my first job was in a yard where they had literally everything, mm. and their daughter did show, showing uh, working under ponies. She had little little ponies, and they did everything like. Uh, a bit of dealing, a bit of venting, show yeah. jumping, all kinds of stuff. And we had every type of horse. And it's really helped me in it's, the long run. Yeah. And I think it, like, if anybody wants to do it as a job, of, of being, a, being a rider, yeah. um, it's the, the best thing you can do is ride Feeling every experience. sort of different horse. And yeah. that's why it's really good for you doing this. Yeah. You know, but that's the thing, I used to ride loads. So I used to work for dealer. And then so, like, after uni, since doing the YouTube, I've, like, I've obviously got a lot of ponies but they're all so similar yeah like, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of variety between them and I, like, I've noticed doing this I've I ride mine differently at home now because you just I feel like I'm more aware of things like like you said with her like oh you're like you she'll lose her outside shoulder easily yeah it's just being reminded of that and actually feeling on a different horse then when you go back to ride your own yeah, you almost yeah, feel yeah. it more because really, like mine really are just helpful. so they're like a comfy pair of shoes I don't feel their mistakes mm. Good. I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. No, no, it's a pleasure. She's lovely. I know, she's a little darling. Or what a big darling. Good ride on a first Appaloosa. Here he is. The man that never stops. The man that never stops. On your next ride, I see already. Yeah. Gosh, look at you. <laughs> well, I've come to say goodbye and also a big thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. No worries. Thank you. And um, it's... Um, it's been fun, hasn't it? It's been really fun. I, I thought you did really well. Thank you. <laughs> no, I thought you did really well. It was really, it was good. Sounds so shocked. It was, but it was kind of like a bit out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Riding a slightly bigger horse and having to do some quite technical things. It was good. Yeah, that, this whole thing's been very much out of my comfort zone. I mean, as I've already said to you, but it's it has been really good for me. Mm. And I've really enjoyed being able to come and ride all of these different horses. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I was, it's like I was saying earlier, you know, it's riding lots of different types of horses is the best thing for your riding. Yeah, definitely. 100%. Although it? most of my horses seem to be little bay horses. Yeah. It's like you <laughs> yeah. went out of this your way to get This one's the like Buster, but this, this is Jack. Yeah, this isn't actually Buster, guys. This is a this is different Jenny. horse who we did meet at the beginning. Well, I'll let you carry on with your day, but thank you so, so much. Pleasure, and thanks for bringing the sunshine. Oh, you are so welcome. It's getting really bright now, isn't it? Mm.
can hardly see. Anywho, guys. And, um, and let's hope you have a good Christmas. Have, oh, God. And everyone at home has a good Christmas because that's the whole point of this, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Happy everything. Happy life. life. Happy life, exactly. Happy, happy life. Don't forget to enter that Y food giveaway. I'm going to put your Y food in the barn, if that's all right with you. No, that's brilliant. I mean, I do feel very full up Do now. you? Yeah. There you go. But you don't feel like... No, but I don't gluggy, feel... do you? I just feel like I can carry on with my day. So it's I all mean, good. you're the poster child for Y food. Yeah. Amazing. They're going to love you. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, head over to my Instagram to enter that, guys. Now, we do have one more location that I'm going to for Vlogmas. But there's a bit of a change of pace. I'm getting on a plane for the next location. So make That's so sure. That's so cool. You're you... so lucky. I'm a jet setter. You're so lucky. I'm not going to tell so you where. Cool. You're going to have to wait and watch the next video to find out. Anyway, I live, laugh, love you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> very nice nose. So I just shout it at you. Shout it whoever you want. I'll shout it anyway. We're not afraid to break the third wall on this channel, so you can address the viewer. You can okay, do whatever. Okay, And I've got... Oh, Meg, we've got to be good about this. I need to take the cups out. <laughs> She's like, oh, my Lord. I hear you. Da, da, da. Oh, you're being such a good boy. <laughs> he says, ha ha. <laughs> now that you've said that, Simon. <laughs> oh, wee! 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 Wee!